Welcome back everyone, thanks for joining me today. So it's a good time to start heading to your Target stores. I had some friends reach out and they said, hey, Toxtricity is hitting stores as well as Flygon. I went to two different stores to track these down. Both of them had them in stock, but the first Target, the employee couldn't find anything in the back. But I did get lucky at the second store, they managed to find this Flygon back there. Which, this is great because these figures are showing up a lot sooner than later. Still no sign of Entei, but I would imagine it's just a matter of time. All right, all right, so this is what our 16th figure here in the trainer team series which is insane that we're already this deep and there's still many more pokemon to be made but if you're out here in the states this is a target exclusive if you're in canada then i believe you can get this at gamestop stores correct me if i'm wrong those of you that live out there comment down below so this is one out of three new figures from series seven we have toxicity which i should be able to find that figure i would imagine sometime this weekend maybe early next week and who knows entei might be within those boxes as well tyranitar is of course a reissue and i did review that figure on the channel so be sure to give that a watch if you haven't already it is amazing as far as packaging goes, it is our traditional trainer team series. We have a matte black throughout with some glossy logoing, a nice illustration of Flygon at the front, we have a sticker that says trainer team series, another nice illustration of Flygon there, and then at the very top where it hangs on the peg, it says only at Target. Of course, here is the barcode and the Target DPCI to help you track this down. This rang up as $19.99 instead of $21.99, so that is great because $20 for this figure, I can already tell you that's going to be a steal. Man, is this figure sweet. I mean, right off the bat, you can get it in a full flying position, looking straight ahead of you. You can elongate the tail, move the legs, position the hands backwards. Man, already this might be top five, top three figures out of the entire trainer team series. Per usual, the sculpting looks fantastic. The color hues are extremely accurate. Proportions look great. Nothing looks wonky on this figure whatsoever. I love the like little plastic covering over the eye. That translucent piece really makes this figure pop. The stand works great with this figure. I like the placement that is here at the bottom and not so much at the back. I feel like that'll make it a lot easier to pose. It sits in there no problem. You shouldn't have any issues of it popping out. And this is great because you can get so many different poses out of this. It's just gonna display so well. This figure can stand on its own, no problem. I mean, I could even shake the table and it's not gonna topple over. Since we have Flygon in a standing position, let's see how tall this figure is. Pokedex has it at six feet, seven inches, and we are a little, we're about five and a half inches, so not quite for the in-scale fans out there. But nonetheless, that shouldn't deter you from buying this figure at all because it is a stand-up piece. Six, seven in person, if you think about it, that's actually pretty crazy. And they have like the weight at 180 pounds. I mean, that's a big Pokemon, but also super light. Makes sense because you're able to fly. I mean, you're a dragon ground type. Let's take a look at articulation. So multiple points all throughout this entire body, which is crazy for just $20. So let's start here at the head. It looks like we have a hinge and a swivel. So I can take Flygon's head and I can look from left to right, no problem. I can also have Flygon looking upwards which is great. This joint here is at the base of the head, which connects the upper part of the neck. But from the next joint down, it seems to be just a hinge here. When I use these two joints together, that's what's gonna allow Flygon to look downwards. And then with those two joints together again, I can have Flygon looking straight up even more. Joints feel nice and stiff, nothing feels loose, which is amazing. We have a simple hinge joint here for the wings, which is great, so I can move the wings downwards about that far, and then moving them straight up, we can get some good traditional flapping motion. The paint apps look great, there's no bleed or nothing like that, that's something that this trainer team series has done a fantastic job with. At the shoulders and arms, multiple points of articulation per usual, so starting here at like the shoulder area, we have a hinge and a swivel so I should be able to take this arm and bring it inwards and outwards looks great and then I should be able to rotate it around also that is awesome it takes a little bit of finessing to get it just right but I mean it's definitely there and then down here at the elbow we have a hinge also so I can do like a slashing motion or like a dragon claw something like that no swivel there at that elbow but that is okay because the next joint down gives us a hinge and a swivel so I can take this hand spin it around just like so there is a little baby hinge there like i said it takes a little bit of finessing but you can get it going no problem if your joints are stiff you could use like a blow dryer heat up the plastic a little bit and that'll loosen it up that way you don't risk like snapping the joint 
and then check that out. Look how crazy that is. There's even little hinge joints at each individual claw. That is crazy. For $20, you're getting all this extra articulation. Look at that. You can close in all those claws. That is incredible. Look at that. But wait, wait, wait. It doesn't stop there. It looks like there is a little bit of swivel action too i should be able to take this claw yeah look at that i can move it from left to right as well that is crazy so the body itself has no articulation here is a little peg hole there which is again a good placement it's not too gaudy it's not like they put it in the center of the of the abdomen right there and it's also more functional there than as opposed to being on the back and then at the hips we have what appears to be a swivel joint so I can't go all the way around, but you can definitely get some good movement here at just the hips alone. We have no adduction or abduction there, which is fine. But here at the feet themselves, you can see there is a big hinge here, and there's also a swivel attached to the ankle. So then I can just move these feet from left to right, which this is amazing because if you think about it, you know, a little movement here, a little movement here, a lot of movement there. And you coincide all of that together on top of the tail, which we haven't even talked about. That's what's going to allow you to get some crazy posability from this. I mean, I love this. You can go from a standing position all the way into flight mode, baby, and it is effortless. That will, of course, lead us into the tail. So we have multiple segments of articulation, which is pretty much per usual with this trainer team series. So here at the base of the body, we have a joint that will allow us to go upwards and downwards. And there is some movement swiveling from side to side. Doesn't look like I can go all the way around. Still a great amount of movement nonetheless. Then the next joint down, we can go upwards and downwards in a very similar fashion. No swiveling swivel movement and that seems to be the exact same type of deal for the next segment and then finally here at the tip of the tail we have a swivel and a hinge so we can spin this baby around but up and down and then when you combine all of that together that is what is going to give you that nice fluid tail lots of posability I mean this is very functional and you can pretty much get that traditional flygon pose where the tail is kind of wrapping behind it may not be all the way but still pretty dang close for $20 now this is the part of the show where I like to recreate some artworks from the TCG. Now unfortunately I don't have a whole lot of Flygon cards which is uh, an issue so once I'm done with this video I'm gonna go ahead and have to buy some singles. This is a traditional flying pose. This is a V card I believe from Brilliant Stars. This is totally achievable no problem whatsoever. Let's try something a tad bit more difficult. This is one of those e-reader cards. I don't know exactly the name of the set but you can see Flygon is kind of crunched together and you can mimic it pretty well not quite 100% spot on but we're still at least in the ballpark let's do a quick comparison with some other trainer team series so like I said Flygon should be around six feet seven inches around that ballpark Garchomp is what six two so ideally if we were going off of an in scale perspective Flygon should be a little bit taller than Garchomp, which isn't the case here. And again, as you know, I'm not a big uh, stickler for in scale. This line has never claimed to be all in scale. But just for the size comparison, we have Flygon standing a little bit shorter, maybe about the same height as Charizard. And if you are a collector of Jazzwares Pokemon figures, then you know that this isn't the first appearance of Flygon. We do have these little battle figures. Now, when I bought this figure, I had no idea that Flygon was coming to the Trainer Team series. But in reality, they don't make a whole lot of Flygon merch in general. It's not a Pokemon that's super saturated on the market. So regardless, I would have bought this anyways, knowing that the Trainer Team series was around. And these types of figures have minimal articulation and usually have some sort of gimmick that gives them like a battle feature or something along those lines. Now they did release Trap Inch, the basic form of Flygon, and this is like their two inch figure line. So it's not quite two inches, maybe just a little bit under. Well, that is pretty cool. All we're missing is Vibrava, and then we can complete this entire evolutionary line. Okay, everyone, that's going to wrap up this review and unboxing of the new Trainer Team Series Flygon figure. This is hitting Target stores now, ringing up as $19.99. Of course, I will post that link in the description below. My overall thoughts is, man, I think this is like top five for me. What I love the most about it, it's a Flygon. I love Flygon. Very kind of under the radar type of Pokemon. Not as in the limelight as, say, Charizard or Pikachu. So that right there is a big bonus. And then all the articulation, the ergonomics, and it's just such a functional figure. You can go into a flight mode looking straight ahead you can look straight up straight down the tail looks great with all those pieces combined make this easily a top five figure for me it is a little bit smaller compared to some of the other figures in the line which again that doesn't bother me but it's something to note for the in scale folks the stand and the stand placement works really great with this figure you could really set it apart by just keeping it in your display in a flight motion and you're gonna have so much height clearance to put other figures underneath it the paint applications and the sculpt are true to how we see it within the animated series and i overall think you're you're going to really enjoy it in your collection. 
But that's it, everyone. I want to thank you for watching this unboxing and review. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel and it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. If you want to see more toy content, connect with me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date when new things drop, like this Flygon figure, and Entei well on the way. I also post toy photography and toy videos. But until then, trainers, I will see y'all in the next video.